And we're back. Here we are, Jasper Active Excel Lesson 7. And we're going to work with tables. So starting with modifying table data, possibly formatting table data. We'll see how fast I am. Here we go. I hope you're having as much fun as I'm having. Getting smart. This is the money-making program. You learn how to do this, and uh, you're setting yourself up well. We're analyzing data and making tons of money in your future. So here it goes. It says select cell F15. So F15, and then press tab. So that's putting us in a table. It's going to add a new row, and we're going to type in cell A16, December 2016. Hit tab. Notice it reformats it. And there's some new terms or new data to put in. 8969 tab 7375 tab 71. Notice as soon as we do that, all the numbers down below were modifying themselves as you entered. Next, now we're going to add a column. So select cell F8. F8. All right, so F8. And then on the insert tab, you're going to say insert columns to the left. Now we've inserted a new column. Let's move up to F5 and put in the data they give us. I feel like I'm not putting the right numbers in. I was reading the wrong direction. So 500, 300, 250, 450, 400, 220, 200, 480, 100, 200, 150 and 300. Now, notice that did not seem to give us anything down here, but we have to select in the drop down menu that we want the sum in that total row. Next, now we're going to check formulas and references. So, select cell G5. And with G5, notice it's equal sum, call volume, and sales increase, and complaints. So um, let's press F2 to delete the table cell reference complaints. So pressing F2 puts us in the edit mode, and I'm going to take out complaints right here. So, I went too far. I took out one penny brackets, I think. There, that should be it. And replace it with other. Oh, well, okay. Actually, let me just escape out of that, and I'm going to do that one more time. F2, and I'm just going to take out complaints so I don't forget one of these, and I'm going to type other. All right. Oh. Sales inquiries. Oh, that's okay. I need to rename this column other. All right, let me try this one more time. Rename the column. There. Now, F2. I forget that one little step. And the whole world just about ends on us. There. Now it's added the other column. So we have our call volume, 
sales inquiries. So just this and the other column in that total. If no longer needed, a column or a row can easily be removed from a table. So click on any cell D4 to D17, anywhere in D4 to D17. And then you're going to say delete drop down menu and delete table columns. And it's gone. Now we didn't get an error message because that one wasn't used in in the end total. If it had been used, it would have said, hey, you're deleting something that we're using. Next, let's add a row to the table. So A18, we're gonna put it down below. We're gonna type January 2017, the tab key, type in the values that they give you, 7,000, 4,000, 200. Notice it's not in the table, so it wasn't automatically updated. What you're going to do is click the resize handle down to row. So the table resize handle right here is bottom corner. So you see where I am? I'm going to click it and drag it down to include row 18 and notice it just flipped it and put the total row and applied all the formatting and uh, formulas that we had included next now we're going to delete a row from the table so click in b17 escape b17 and then you're going to do delete drop down menu delete table rows and it's gone. So we're going to call that good. Let's submit it and see if we can get it. I think I caught myself when I was making the mistakes. And return to Jasper Active. There we go. Another 100%.